Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We've been waiting on these things to get here for a while. And we got a bunch of them in. Six in total. So this is David's machine. Uh, this is a little insert in this video, but this is David's machine. He's got the 32 inch, uh, it's 32 by 10 by 15 STI X comps. And uh, they are huge. Remember he was running 30s uh, on his last one for a little while. So that's gonna be neat to see. And Joel, <laughs> those are 34s by the way. I've never seen anybody put 34s on a Z Force 950, but Mr. Joel is. Moto Ravage, EFX Moto Ravage, 34 by 10 by 18. The MSA switch wheels, and they have this, this tire is a very similar pattern to the, uh, you know, the carnivores and stuff. So, and they're actually pretty light. So that's what we're gonna find out real quick. We're gonna see how much, well, let's grab a stock one. Let's grab the stock. This is the stock front tire setup. So, we, yeah, we put the stock on there, and it is, yeah, 40. Let me get down here where I can see. Well, that's 39 pounds, and that's the front. Let's measure the, the rear. And I know the rear is a few more pounds heavier, being that they're 11 inch wide. <clears throat> yeah, golly. Yeah, those are, let it balance out, 43 pounds. Yeah, 43. So here's the tire. Thirty-four inch tire is forty-three pounds. Forty-three pounds. That's forty-three pounds. Just the tire. So, just the thirty-four inch tire weighs what the rear tire, stock tire, and rim weighs. All right. So we got the eighteen inch switch rim, and you are at twenty pounds. So twenty pounds. 63 pounds. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's that's, that's what I said a while ago. How many? 20 pounds more than the 20 stock. 20 pounds more than the stock rears. So 20 more pounds on each side. Now, yes, that's, that's, a, that's a big difference. And, uh, but we're going to see how the 950 will hold up to it. We're going to weigh one of David's tires as well and see what the 32 inch X comps weigh. I know that the 30s weighed a lot, so we'll check that out now. Oh boy, 34 is hitting the ground. All right, we got to scrub out the suspension, of course. But wow. We got to get a width measurement, too. It's so big. Wow. So that is no lift kit. It's, we did have to use some wheel adapters because that's a Polaris a bolt pattern for those rims. Um, no lift kit, no uh, offset A-arms. That's all you need is some forward offset and it won't scrub at all. Wow. We're going to get the big camera out and get some good footage of this. So just for a reference, remember <clears throat> we just got through measuring Joel's 34 inch tires and just the tire by themselves was uh, I think 42, 43 and 43 pounds. And if you remember, uh, I measured or weighed the 30 inch X comp tires without tire, I mean, without rims on them, and it weighed 45 and a half pounds. So, Joel going with the 34s, the tire itself is lighter, 34 inch tire is lighter than the 30 inch STI X comp tire. So, now we're about to weigh Joel's 32 X comps on the 
uh, 15 inch rims. So we're gonna see how much that weighs. You wanna put that on there? I bet it weighs more than the steel one. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. It's going to. I already know. Let's just throw it on there. It's going to max out the scale. Yep, okay. So we maxed it out and we don't have another 32 by itself. And But man, I bet, I bet the 30, the 30 inch. So, so if the 30 inch X comp weighs 45 and a half pounds, let's just add two more pounds, right? At least. At least. Probably 48. Yeah, probably 48 pounds, close to 50. We're somewhere around 70 pounds per tire and rim set up on uh, David's 950. And Joel's 34s are somewhere around the 65 range. And, uh, and I wanna say that's somewhere close to what I was running with my MUD 950 with the 32 inch ITP cryptids. Uh, actually, I'm pretty positive they weigh what the X comps weigh. So we know that these machines can handle it. Can't wait to see these jokers in action. We've got some surprises though with Joel's machine. And if you notice, you haven't seen mine yet. Uh, so the, be watching because <laughs> we got some big surprises coming and it's probably gonna be about a month. I have my 950 finally, but it's there's some stuff that's happening to it. Uh, it's gonna be totally transformed when you see it. So anyhow, David's is gonna remain like this for a little bit and uh, we're gonna get some footage of him running the 950 and pretty pumped about it guys. Excited to say the least. I'm excited to get mine and get mine back and uh, gonna be fun. So anyways, we're gonna be doing some clutch setups, playing with those to really optimize the 950 for this heavier weight. We know as far as clearance and all, many people are going with the 32s uh, or at least 30s. It looks it makes the machine look so much better with the bigger tires and, and uh, offset rims. Just looks super good. Uh, so we know it will handle it. We've ran them for a long time, put a lot of miles on them, and we're excited to put some miles on these units here. So be watching the channel. Got some great things coming. God bless y'all, and as always, remember to keep it real. We'll see you in the next one.